The number one driver to generate huge profits for big hedge funds is trend following system. And the number one model used in trend following systems is linear regression. Now it sounds complicated, but really it's not. It's extremely simple. And in this video, I will show you how it is calculated and how you can use it to build your own trend following systems on any instruments on any time frame. So let's jump in. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I post daily on this channel. Also, it would be great if you can share the video with others, smash the like button as this will signal to Google to push this video to other investors, other traders so they can get the same value that you are getting. So there are two basic types of linear regression, the simple linear regression and the multiple linear regression. Although there are also non-linear regression, which we will not touch in this video. The simple linear regression uses one independent variable to explain or predict the outcome of the dependent variable Y. Why a multiple linear regression uses two or more independent variables to predict the outcome. Oh, that is a mouthful. Uh, basically what uh, the complicated way uh, because this is statistics and I'm sure it's very beneficial but for us traders really we don't need all that info basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to plot a line that best fits multiple data points so let me show you a graph so I did this simple one so imagine you have these green dots uh, that are scattered all over the place and the red line, this is the simple linear regression that we are trying to fit on all these points. Of course, if you want to do it manually, it's an impossible mission. So you need some math to do it. And here is the equation for that, for the simple linear regression. If you do that in any plotting software, then it will give you the linear regression line. Basically, we're trying to find the median line for all this data. So imagine, of course, in trading, we have uh, many data points, like a candlestick pattern. And we want to try to find out, is the price going up or going down or going sideways? And if the price is all over the place, it's hard to determine that without plotting uh, some trend line. And trend line is very subjective, uh, while regression line is very math way to do it, because then, it's not up to you. That's it. The math will decide it's up, it's down, or it's sideways. It's an extremely simple decision to make. Of course, all YouTube channels, not all YouTube, most YouTube channels, they go by subjectivity because then it's easier to fool you into believing whatever they are selling. If you do it by math, then you can easily test and you can find out if it works or not. And that's why here in StudyWaste's channel, we always test what we theorize about. So this is a chart of the S&P 500. And if I switch on the, this is the linear regression line, simple. And the simple line has a look back period. In this case, I put 80 and there are uh, standard deviation up and down. So this is same uh, regression line with two standard deviation lines. And you know, most of the people use the lower channel and the upper channel to initiate trades or basically to use it for mean reversion uh, that's the most common way of course uh, we are not going to use the retail way <laughs> to trade the linear regression we're going to use the professional way to trade re linear regression which is using its angle so this linear regression line took the 80 uh, closes here and this through the equation this is the best line that fits that uh, period and we can see that the trend is up because the slope is up so the blue line is the same linear regression uh, but it's just plotting the angle at each data point and for example this one is the linear regression line angle at that point in time and if you keep doing it then it will give you this curve basically showing you what's happening in the price so you can see here at this point the the angle was flat and then ticks, uh, ticked up here and then start to tick down. So since uh, this bar, the slope was down because the angle of course is down and it just switched up right now. Now we can use this to trade. 
Now, there are many variations to the system, but we will start with this basic premise, which is to go along when the linear regression angle is up and to get out when it is pointing down. So I think it's better to visualize how this linear regression angle works. And I built this indicator, which takes the angle and plot it as a histogram. So when the angle is above zero, it will be green. And when it goes uh, less than before, less than when the reading is less than the previous reading, it goes dark green. And then when it's below zero, it's red. And if it's uh, if the reading is higher than the previous reading, then it's dark red. So we can easily build a system that basically goes long when it is green and sell when it is dark green and then goes short when it's red and sell and cover when it's dark red. So in AlgoWizard Strategy Quant X, we can look for linear regression. It's uh, this one. So we have, we can use the linear regression on its own and we can use these simple blocks, which is rising and falling. So this is rising, meaning the linear regression of this bar is higher than the previous one. So here I put the same period, which is 80. And oh, by the way, if you say 80 is optimized, uh, really, I, without going into detail into trend following, most macro trends happen between 40 and 160. So 80 sits right in the middle, and but all of them will work. I mean, this is a subject for another video, but if you're building uh, trend following, anything between 40 and 160, uh, 60 will pick up that medium macro trend anything below that's just uh, noise and anything above uh, that's too too long uh, i mean you can't do it but it's just too long okay so we'll go along when it's rising and we will uh, exit so 80 and minus very simple system now I will use trade station and this is the euro dollar why euro dollar if you are starting in trend following you need to know that uh, interest rates is the most favorable instrument for trend following because interest rate depends on the uh, central banks and central banks usually have a long vision for, with their policy so they don't uh, whip so up and down usually they stick around for at least a couple of years for each policy change so therefore you always find trends in interest rates and this applies globally and so here we will use the euro dollar and the treasury bonds to test our system so this is the euro dollar and we will use one contract no commission and slippage and let's run a full back test so the system as expected is profitable and i want to show you something here so this is a typical trend following system which is the winning percentage is between 30 and 60, depending on what model you're building. So this is 40, sits somewhere in the middle. We're getting almost $100 per trade. And also you need to know that trend following usually perform very well in crisis. And you can see here 2008, it was really good. And 2020 also, it was good. And of course, 2001, is also good so you can see actually uh, any look back period between 40 and 160 like i mentioned these will work very good on all interest rates uh, instruments regardless of your country like i said because the uh, the trend will stick around for longer periods in those instruments so now let me uh, give you a, another idea you can see here that sometimes we get one uh, green bar. The one, this is, for example, this is one dark green, and then we continued the uh, trend. And here is another one, and then we continued. So maybe we should try that if we see two consecutive uh, green, uh, dark green bars, then we exit. To do that in Strategy Quant X, we can use the comparison feature which is lower for x number of bars in this case two bars so linear regression is lower than the previous one for two consecutive bars and let's remove this one so now we are making same uh, very close to what we were making before but with less trades which will uh, reduce the slippage and commission and a slightly higher drawdown so i think it is better 
And here I built a model in uh, Portfolio Maestro in TradeStation. So you can see how the portfolio behaves. And I put, uh, these are the 30 year treasury, five year, 10 year, and the Euro dollar. And as you can see, all of them are profitable. And these are the winning percentage. So uh, very close around 50% and Euro dollar is the lowest 43, 44%. And the average trade, which is the lowest in uh, Euro dollar and the highest in 30 year treasury bond. And this is the equity curve for the portfolio and periodical returns. And we can see again that uh, 2008 was the best. Remember, this is not taking uh, volatility into the equation. We're trading one contract all the time. So we made 260 in 2008. And there you go, extremely simple indicator again on its own, no profit target, no stop loss, no volatility filter, no position sizing, and yet extremely profitable. Of course, I picked the interest rate markets, which are very favorable to a trend following system. But the whole point is to show you that linear regression is really useful tool to build trend following systems, uh, medium to long term. You, you, there is no point in using it on short term as it will be very erratic and it would not yield a robust system. Of course, if you have any questions, any comments, please do so below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer you. I do read and comment on all questions sent to the channel. Also, if you wanna take this further and be part of my inner circle, you are most welcome to join our Discord server at the Patreon link down below. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe and I'll see you soon.